Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Ask Elon, will you build the Gigafactory up to its expected capacity of 1 million units? Yes, all the way up to 1 million units. Thanks a lot. Is it still the right spot? I agree that it's a great spot. Thanks. SK Innovation, a battery maker in South Korea that works with big car companies like Ford and Volkswagen, has declared a state of emergency management. This statement was made because EV sales in Europe and the U.S. were disappointing, leaving SK with big financial loses. I've never had a more relaxing or stress-free drive through this area than this one. When full self-driving first came out a few years ago, I wouldn't even try to drive in places like this. Now I can do it most of the time. Even so, driving in a way that stressed me out. As you can see from earlier movies to now, where most of the time it is very comfortable and feels very strong. Hello, and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the newest electric news from the world of Tesla. In today's update, we talk about some exciting new changes and some problems that are happening in the world of electric vehicles. Come with us as we talk about these issues and what they mean for the future of electric cars. Do click the like button first, and if you haven't already, sign up for Tesla Stock News. Now let's begin. We'll start with news about Giga Berlin. Tesla's Giga Berlin has been given permission to grow, which means it will be able to make twice as many cars each year, which is pretty amazing. This huge ride shows how committed Tesla is to meeting the growing demand for electric cars and strengthening its place in the global market. Now let's talk about the Cybertruck. Even though Tesla is getting a lot of flack for it, I mean, the media is calling it a big disappointment. Some Tesla fans are ripping it apart like crazy. Still, it looks like it will be the best-selling electric pickup truck in the U.S. this year. This unique car has now sold more than any other electric pickup truck in the country, even the powerful Ford F-150. The Cybertruck's futuristic, angular look and powerful performance have wowed customers and changed the way electric trucks are made. Also, Tesla's full self-driving software version April 3, 2012, is now publicly available. These improvements are a big step forward in the technology behind self-driving cars. They make navigation better and the drive experience smoother. The FSD software shows how committed Tesla is to always making automated vehicles better and coming up with new ideas. While the scenery is beautiful, it also has some problems. Battery makers, especially SK Innovation, are having a lot of problems. It's an emergency for SK Innovation, the fourth largest EV battery maker, because sales of EVs in Europe and the US have been poor. The business has lost money for 10 quarters in a row, which has caused its debt to grow five times and made its financial problems even worse. This shows how unstable and competitive the market for EV batteries is even though Tesla keeps making big steps forward with Chica Berlin, the Cybertruck, and its FSD software. Problems in the business as a whole show how hard it is to keep growing and coming up with new ideas in the electric vehicle sector. At the moment, both Tesla and SK Innovation are dealing with the effects of having a lot more batteries than they need. The market for batteries is deflating, which is making things very hard for makers. For example, Ford has cut back on its demand, leaving SK Innovation to deal with the effects of this too high supply. When too many goods are made, and then there is suddenly no market for them. This happens. Tesla's demand, on the other hand, stays steady, which is a bit of good news in this otherwise bad situation. To give you another example, SK Innovation is like the cook who makes a lot of food only to find that the guests have changed their minds about what they want to eat. The company is dealing with the effects of a large battery oversupply at a time when the market is quickly losing its appeal. Ford's move to cut its demand has made things worse for SK, which now has too many batteries that can't be sold. At the same time, Tesla continues to see steady demand, which gives the company a sense of security in markets that are usually unstable. Moving on to the bigger picture of the battery business, Chinese companies currently have an amazing 53% market share, mostly in their own country. With steps being taken in the U.S. and Europe to limit Chinese imports, this situation does, however, create a unique chance for South Korean companies, especially LG and SK. LG and SK are in a good situation to take advantage of Western market growth. 
South Korean companies are ready to move into better places in this situation, which is like a game of musical chairs. Companies like SK Innovation are having a hard time because there are too many batteries on the market. But battery makers are about to face even more trouble. There is a lot of extra power on the market right now, which is causing prices per kilowatt hour to drop quickly. The sudden drop in prices is putting a huge strain on profit margins and lowering predictions for sales. Because of this, the industry expects a lot of changes in mergers as the market for electric vehicles gets ready for its next phase of growth. Let's look at the Cybertruck now. Imagine a truck that looks like it came straight from a science fiction movie with a future angular design that seems out of this world. With its stainless steel body and nearly unbreakable windows, this powerful vehicle didn't just show up. It made a statement and quickly took over the American market. The Cybertruck isn't just a truck, it's a statement on wheels. By selling 23,958 electric vehicles, which is a huge 61% rise year over year, the Cybertruck has now become the best-selling electric pickup truck in the United States. What is it about the Cybertruck that makes it so appealing? One thing about it is that it can store things like a vault, which makes it perfect for moving everything from everyday tools to expensive treasures. The Cybertruck also has amazing speed numbers, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour faster than many sports cars. It also has a long driving range, so you could go across the country without stopping very often. The Cybertruck is not only a car, it's also a culture phenomenon. It has caught the attention of both truck fans and science fiction fans with its unique look and strong features that make it stand out from other cars on the market making it even more clear that it's the must-have electric car of the year, ready to handle a wide range of driving situations from city streets to rough off-road trails. The Cybertruck has an adjustable airframe and is very durable in a market that has mostly been controlled by regular trucks. The arrival of the Cybertruck is a huge change. That Tesla is able to come up with new ideas and keep trying to change the rules of the auto business is clear from this success. The Cybertruck shows how to get from point A to point B, not only quickly but also with style, power, and bravery. But Tesla's competitors, especially Ford, are not giving up easy. People are still very interested in Ford's electric cars. In fact, Tesla sold 44,000 EVs in the first half of the year, which is second only to Tesla. Ford is showing to be a strong competitor, making sure that the competition stays very tough. This ongoing competition is shaping up to be a huge fight in the EV market, attracting large crowds and pushing the limits of car technology. Now let's talk about Tesla's straight sales channel. Tesla's direct-to-consumer plan is the perfect example of speed and efficiency, streamlining the sales process and making a huge difference in cash flow. This method speeds up transactions, allowing for quick payment terms and faster shipping of goods, which successfully improves the dynamics of the supply chain. Tesla has successfully used this plan to make the most money possible by quickly turning raw materials into cash. In this context, it's important to think about the rumors that Tesla is in talks with Indian officials about investing, even though these talks are just that. Talks. Tesla is still fully committed to expanding its business around the world and making new product lines. This shows that Tesla can handle several important jobs at once without affecting the quality of work. Tesla's commitment to innovation is clear as it continues to improve its products and grow its business around the world. The company's proactive plan is to keep up the momentum and stay at the top of the automotive industry by improving battery technology and releasing the much-anticipated Cybertruck. It's dealing with difficulties with a strategic focus and resolve, despite what other people might say. Tesla's tireless efforts show a clear path to future growth and innovation.